That's crazy. But but like I was saying, I I, I got to applaud you because right now Puff going through it. Um, it, it it's no way to sugarcoat that. He's going through it. He's not having the best month. No. But you could have just as easily come on here and do what a lot of people are doing. They're using this as an opportunity to kick a man when he's down. So I got to say, I respect the fact that, yo, Prez, I can only speak about my relationship with this man. I can only speak from the standpoint (laughs) of the interactions I had with him. That's it. That's all. You know, you see a lot of people, my band members speak out and how, you know what I mean, it kind of, you know what I mean, left them in, you know what I mean, in a bad position. And, you know what I mean, I don't want to talk about that because that's, everybody say that. That's that's their truth. And that is. But I'm just telling people my thing. And I'm not just going to, just because everybody's stoning this man, I, I'm not going to use it as opportunity to stone him also because that's the how, not how, how we carried it. That's how he carried me. And even though the business didn't go well and I didn't come out with, you know, the quote unquote standard bad boy album solo, that, that man gave me two opportunities to change my life. And I was living in Philly 25 years and not one Philadelphian gave me that opportunity. That's real. See what I'm saying? That's real. <laughs> That's real. Feel me? <laughs> yeah. Yo, what... What do you say when you see somebody like Freddie P, you know, go on live and he's crying? And you Fred know, don't like when I speak and speak speak about him on these interviews. And out of your respect, I, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that. But I will say this: like I said, everybody' story is different. He feels a certain way. Babs feels a certain way. Sarah feels a certain chop. Feel, dial line me. We all got our certain type of way we feel. The way he expresses it is the way he is expressing. And um, as a disclaimer, I'm going to handle it the way I'm handling it. He's going to handle it the way he handled it. He's going to deal with it the way he deal with it. That don't mean I got to go out in a blaze with that man because he feels that way. And we, we was all, and to some, to some extent, was uh, did in a certain way which wasn't ethical. But I'm not going to run out in a blaze of glory because of it. Because I got other things to worry about and other things I cherish. Yeah, I love music the fuck out of it, but will I just go to jail because of it? No. I'm smart. I know how to do other things. I know how to get money other ways. Music is just a big part of my story, and I'm good at it. And I mean, and and it helps me. I mean, spill into other business adventures by being a public figure. But all in all, I think I mean we had enough time to recalibrate and get it together, and that's just that's just basically from my standpoint. But I'm not going to sit by and just watch nobody say something and be like, yo, you shouldn't feel that way. Nah, I can't tell you how to feel because I'm not in your mind, in your body. And you know what I mean? I'm not in your heart. So I can't I can't dictate the way you should feel. Do you believe that there's a bad boy curse? You got people running around and and. This is this is coming from within the camp, not just people outside. Like, yo, there's a bad boy curse. Do you buy into that, or you just think every man got to he got to be responsible for his own actions? Um, I mean, Puff, I ain't gonna lie. Puff told me that when I was up there. He's like, man, you got the curse of the band on you. And I'm like, Puff, what the fuck does that mean? I'm like, I'm really doomed if you saying that. <laughs> so it's like my whole. Car- my whole career been an uphill battle. Like I said, I dug myself out the hole. I dug myself out the darkness. Nobody else did it. Everybody kicked me when I was down. It just Puff is more successful and more established. So it's going to be more heightened. It's going to be more highlighted. But I've been through the same things. Not to the point where hit the accusations, the allegations that he made, and the extended allegations. I'm just talking about personally attacked for not being successful and not making it from the hood. And I had to live with that on my back for 20 years until I finally reevaluated my situation. Like, it start with me and it's going to end with me. Yeah, Puff was a good vessel. That was a good person to meet. But I love music. So if I can't get on this fucking camera, on this phone and rap and just show people what I can really do, then my name ain't what it is. And I did that for six months straight. 
and one door start opening after another. Just by me taking it back to my DVD roots and just saying, fuck all that. Fuck the drip. Fuck the money. Fuck the failed careers. Fuck the false starts. Fuck the disappointments. Fuck the regrets. I'm just going to rap and see where that takes me. Do you get paid for your battle rap? Yeah. It's called the performance fee. Win or lose, draw. We each work out an agreement and a contract with the Battle League for a performance fee. That's dope. That's dope. People don't realize, people think that, the, you know, a lot of the battle rappers, as nice as they are, they not getting paid for their performance fee. No, they getting paid. They getting paid some big bucks. Cassidy, which is, you know what I mean, a good friend of mine, he's from Philly. One of the one of like the pioneers of the the, the 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 revitalized battle rap era, I would say. He gets up to six figures, almost almost to a milli. That's crazy. People wouldn't even know that, bro. Real talk. We doing pay per view. We get we get percentages off the pay per view. We getting big performance fees. We get merchandising. We get all types of shit. We get endorsements. Like a nigga paid me fifteen hundred dollars to wear a shirt and a hat up there. With the word Cigarello on it. So you get to keep your endorsements or you got to split it with them? No, that's all pocket money. That's going straight into my pocket. I don't have to, I don't have to share that with anyone. Same thing with my freestyles. A lot of, I'm a brand ambassador. So when I do a freestyle and it go viral, then I get brand ambassadors. Uh, black, uh, black, black owned companies, black clothing companies, small clothing companies that, that pay me to wear their merchandises on my freestyles. So my actual Instagram is a business. I lost my lost my initial page. It got hacked. Them overseas foreigners hacked my page. That's when I started knowing the importance of social media. And it's all smoke and mirrors. But you know what I mean? For the most part, people can see that, you know, what I, mean? I really love hip hop and then you know. Tell you I'm gonna shoot you and kill you and fuck you up and then go make a record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that I sell. I did both. Before I let you up out of here, you you've had a you've had a very up, down, and everything in in between career. If you could go back in time, what would you change? I just would be up there. I would be up New York more. I just probably would have stayed up there instead of going to Philly, wasting time with niggas in Philly telling me about this and that when they really couldn't do nothing for me but follow my lead and what I was doing and just have an input on what I was doing instead of being, you know what I mean, there on the ground level with me, actually making the moves, just stay up around puffing them. Not, not even give them no, no breathing room. Just my whole experience up there just with them because I know what was Philly was waiting for me. And the more time I spent in Philly, I found myself getting away from what I really wanted to do. I gave Philly 25 years. So giving it any more time, even though it's my city and I love it, this is my career choice. And the same thing with military men. If I got to go to war for four years, that's what it is. What the fuck? You know what I mean? I ain't going to be able to see my family, but you know, I'm protecting the motherfucking country. And that's just what it is. And I feel as though I spent too much time being in Philly or being other places than being in New York, really, 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 really being around the professionals and the playmakers. Like I should. Yo, with that being said, brother, I appreciate this conversation. Real talk. I appreciate sitting with you. Uh, I was there when you, you were, I wasn't there when your career started in Philly, but I was definitely there when um, the world came to know you through, through that whole MTV thing, man. I'm proud of you. Just keep up the good work. And I love that you are going back to your roots. You just spitting flames. And because of that, it's starting to take you to the new heights in this whole rap thing. So keep up the great work, man. Like, like I'm proud of you and I appreciate you sitting down with me. One love, brother. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.
Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.